The state has an important role to play in setting things like the minimum wage, in debating and implementing earned sick and safe time. And of course, we need to do that for Minnesota families and for Minnesotans across the state of Minnesota. But it won't help if we limit local units of government for doing that work for the people who sent them there. If this is an important issue for the people of Minnesota, we should take it up at the state level. And as the state's governor, I intend to do that. I don't think government should be dictating wages or work rules to private businesses, period. I don't favor local municipalities doing it, and I don't favor the state government doing it. That's my concern with preemption. If we have the state establish what those rules can or can't be for local governments, we have effectively said that it is the proper domain of state government to control wages and work rules. I don't want to set that precedent. I think local municipalities should be held accountable for their own decisions, both in terms of their economic growth and development based on their own decisions, and also politically. We need to hold local political officers accountable as well. And so moving all these decisions to the state will simply absolve the local governments of any responsibility for what they're doing and set a dangerous precedent at the state level. We have land use, zoning, and permitting requirements in our communities that give communities local control. But let me be clear on this issue. Small and large businesses should not have to face a patchwork of dozens of different wage and benefit mandates passed by municipalities with city councils beholden to special interest groups. That's just wrong. I would support a preemption law which ensures statewide standards and creates a level playing field for our entire business community. On the issue of the state's role in, in how we set uh, mandates or how we work with uh, local, local entities, the same thing working federally is this. We're all in this together. We need to make these work. I've taken my cue uh, from local leaders uh, in everything that I've done in Congress. They're closest to the issues. They know what's best. Local control is the way to go about doing this. We need to make sure we're working in collaboration when we talk about things. One of the things of this campaign that uh, myself and my running mate Peggy Flanagan talk about is those people most impacted by the decision we make need to be at the table. That will certainly mean businesses need to be there as we talk about it, but the local leadership, the local businesses, the local folks who know best, that, that is, I think, a, a hallmark of, uh, of why our democracy works so much in partnership with state and federal. I generally believe in local control. Don't just talk about it, but, but I believe it. So if a, a local government is doing something stupid, I don't think as governor or as a legislature we have a role in telling them they can't do that unless the stupid thing they're doing is actually having a very negative effect on the entire economy of the state of Minnesota. So if a local government wants to ban plastic bags, I might think that's dumb, but I don't think I should play a role in stopping that. If, however, they are creating a patchwork of minimum wages in the state of Minnesota, which would have a very negative effect on our economy, then I think that is the proper role of state government to step in and say, you can't do that.